Okay, thank you. I just start. So I will spend only three slides of notes speaking about Catalan language and Catalan culture. Who know what is Catalan language? Wow, I'm impressed. Good. I will do it just in fast way. Uh, Catalan is Romance language for people who doesn't know. So it derives from Latin, like Spanish. Catalan is quite similar to Spanish, to French, Italian, and well, other uh, Latin languages like Portuguese, Romanian, and many, many more. And Catalan culture has our own .cat top-level domain. This is the first cultural domain in, in the world. This is new from two years ago, Aplox. This is to show that Catalan culture and language is quite strong in internet community and new technologies. And Catalan is the official language of Catalonia. Catalonia is in that, uh, whoop, here in that zone. Catalon Catalonia capital is uh, Barcelona. It's the official language in Catalonia, region of Spain, Andorra. It's that country with nice ski resorts. Uh, Balearic Islands and in some other places too, like, well, not official language, but used in South France, etc. I feel that there is some line missing here, but a uh, map of Europe. Barcelona in that zone of Knox, it's spoken in Balearic Islands here and in Andorra. I could use my feet too, but I told this in País Valencia too. And in Europe, Catalan is spoken by 9.1 million of people. Aplox, it's the same level of Portuguese. Portuguese, is, it sounds more important because they have their own country, not in the case of Catalan. Catalonia is not a country. And it's just lower, but not so lower than Dutch or, well, Spanish is about 15% uh, of EU people speak Spanish. Spain is quite big. What is DACO? So no, now you know some, something about uh, Catalan, Catalan culture, Catalonia, and we can think about DACO. DACO, it means Dictionary uh, Angles Catala de Codi Obert, that this is open source English Catalan dictionary. And it's an English Catalan dictionary tailored for speakers of both languages. This is quite important to understand. We will explain it uh, a bit later but it's not focused for Catalan speakers or for English speakers, for both kind of speakers. DACO itself started uh, with just some XML files with entries in, Span uh, in, sorry, in Spanish, in Catalan or in English, uh, explaining what is it or translating. DACO is a bilingual uh, dictionary, so mainly we are saying, okay, Apple, in English is poma in Catalan, similar to French, pom, oh, mm, exactly. Uh, all entries are in XML, and we export all the XML files to some nice PDF files. These PDF files you can get, open, search, or do whatever you want. We also have some form-based web search in our web page. In, in it will be in the last slide, too. Mm, you can just type something and some form using Ajax technology will search to you and uh, show the translating translation. We have some plugin available for Firefox. It's that things, searchers, not, not extension on Firefox and Internet Explorer. Some gadget for a Google web page. There is a Catalan web uh, verb conjugator. A last line that it's not showed here. Uh, is uh, Kudako, it's a standalone application. We will uh, spend five last five slides talking about Kudako. So this is approx the things that we have. Daco's history, Daco is not a recent project. It uh, started on, it's not, well, yes, it's here on 2001. Uh, Linda Oxnard, who is the Daco's founder and the real linguistic manager, not me, as you, I think that you can guess. Uh, DACO started on 2001 because she found a lack of good uh, Catalan English dictionaries for English people. 
We have a lot of dictionaries, Catalan English dictionaries for Catalan people. Dictionary uh, is focused or tailored for one of kind or one of speakers uh, in function of the examples, notes, what they explain, how they explain, so it's quite different. She was studying Catalan in UK and she couldn't buy any good dictionary. And when she was doing her PhD in Catalan language, she made a survey and all, stud all students said, okay, we don't have any good Catalan English dictionary. And then on that year, she started to collect, uh, she started collecting words. I imagine that she is living in UK with that dark evenings, raining and writing all endless of some newspaper in some list. And two years later, she released the first version of DACO. She wanted to release the first version with some words, not like empty project. So a lot of people, well, not a lot, but some tens of people uh, joined her to help her to improve, to say this is wrong, this is um, good, etc. You see that this is not a software, mm, well, it has software, but mainly it's not a software project. But things work quite fine, uh, quite similar. So here you can see who contributed with DACO. She's the founder. Some people has photos and some people doesn't have photos. It doesn't mean that they work harder or not harder. Maybe that they are shy or not shy. And who is the average contributor of DACO? Is uh, the average contributor is age between 20s and 80s. So we have people from all ages. This is quite good because, you know, young people or younger people speak a bit different or use different words than oldest people. There is some English speakers living in UK, US, Canada, Australia or some other countries. But I mean that they are not only in UK or only in US. And Catalan speakers living in Barcelona, Girona, well, some Catalan countries. And it's very interesting that in the mailing list, I will explain it later, but in the mailing list, you can see some UK English native speaker writing better Catalan than average Catalan writer. I mean, they studied Catalan for so many years and they write very good. It is always interesting. And common purpose of everybody is that everybody wants to do a useful, uh, well, uh, some resource that it's useful for a language student, students and that it's free. Some people could think, okay, you, you can get some dictionary and start to copy, like a monkey uh, work. We don't copy entries from any dictionary, this would not be legal. We have some agreement with TermCat, that it's a Catalan government uh, organization for neologisms, new words. And a lot of entries, well, we get some entries from this organization, but mainly all entries are added by people who is using the web page or that CUDA Coplorem, and people, user found some missing entry and then we add it. Recently, this is a very interesting case, I think, oops, yeah, okay, fine. This is new, uh, one of DACO's contributors get a Catalan Latin birch list and Latin English, and they are working too much using the Latin as a common language, and to incorporate the uh, 700 or 800 birds in DACO, so this will be very useful for people who like birds. How does the project work? First step, uh, uh, some new word appears that could come from mailing list. Something like, I found that this word is missing. Some web form, as I said, or missing words from uh, mailing web page formulary or Kudako search engine. People discuss the new words. Something like, uh, mosh means uh, cut here or there or not in Valencia, but in Balearic Islands, and young people use, or old people. So some people say what they think. And finally, so it would be a plus here, you cannot see, me neither, but Linda Oxnard adds this new word in the XML files. 
so the process is that we have new work, we talk, or some people, not me usually, some people talk about new this, the meaning of this new work, and then we add. Some DACOS special features. Well, it's free, as I already said, but free is not a license, so I would like to say which license we have in each part of DACO. The XML files are under LGPL license. I will not explain what is LGPL, but mm, you know, PDF files are under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike, and that standalone application is under GPL3. Kudaco, uh, Kudaco, Daco has more than 15,000 entries. If you print these PDF files in a standard DNA for uh, pages, you will get about 200 pages, so it's a quite big dictionary. I said it in some way at the beginning. Yep, these keys are not in the correct place. But uh, uh, DACO, we don't have one, two, or three dictionaries. We have four dictionaries. We have Catalan English dictionary, an English Catalan dictionary for Catalan speakers, and the same for English speakers. This is in order to focus the examples, uh, notes, links to image, etc. Links, usage notes, examples, I said. We also have uh, work frequency counts from Google. Each entry has in some date how many times appeared in Google. So you can use this to know if it's if Lyft is more used than Elevator or whatever. And we also use some semantic fields. So each word, each entry has some semantic fields. So if you search for Apple, you could know that it's a fluid and it's food. Why is so important that dictionary is open source? Ah, uh, well, culture should be free. I think that uh, a lot of people here think the same. And uh, language is a lively or lively uh, thing, so it's important that can change, and if anybody can suggest entries, but we exam examined these entries, so the quality of dictionary is never compromised. And of course, we encourage others to create your own dictionary, maybe joining to Catalan English Dictionary or in your languages. Maybe you could share some resources, mailing list or whatever, or uh, we could help you to set up some things. What is DACO? This is the last part of speech, mainly because time. <laughs> uh, Kudaco is a multi-platform application available in Debian repositories, and it has been developed since uh, 2005. Here you can see two screenshots of Kudako. Uh, this is just a small word, penguin, penguin, Catalan, or longest word with some links to pictures or to Flickr. Why uh, did we create Kudako? We wanted a reference application for Daco. We could get Daco words and put in some other uh, dictionary standalone application dictionary, like Linux has some of them, but we wanted something to use all uh, DACO resources, photos, links, and also to be able to report missing words. So some user is searching something, oh, it's not here, so sad, press one button, and we know that this word somebody searched and it's not available. We also have interaction with festival, that speech uh, synthes synthesizer, uh, this is that something like you can click, right click some word in Kudako and you can read in that robot voice, but quite good uh, how to pronounce this word. Autocompletion and some other features. We had the PDF files, but uh, standalone application is easier to use and load. Here you can see the Kudako architecture. Since last version, there is some XML files some library accessing the XML files. This is new from one month ago. We have a console application, so you can use DACO from the, uh, wi well, without any graphic user interface. And Kudako, what I showed before, that it integrates with Festival. Or, uh, well, Lip Kudako is who is able to send suggestions to internet. There is 
well, I wanted to say some similar projects. Maybe someone is interested on in. There is a GPL German Catalan dictionary. Some people is working on that, and also Wiktionary. This is not a bilingual dictionary. It just uh, well, you type some word. Yep, I finish now. You type some word and you get the definition. And thanks for your attention. If somebody has questions, I will be around here. Thank you.